Sneak peek three of the simple steps for raster click steps function. New functionality, we're actually in development process right now. This isn't currently available in the simple steps raster program. I'm actually sitting here testing it at this time and just kind of seeing how it works and getting a feeling for it and make sure we get all the bugs and everything out before we release it. However, if you have purchased simple steps raster at the introductory offer of $249.99, you will get this upgraded functionality for free. And as I said in the first Sneak peek after that, we're going to raise the price somewhere between $50 and $100 for the Simple Steps Raster plugin. With the incarnation of the Click Steps into the Simple Steps Raster, we now have really taken Simple Steps Raster to the highest level in the industry for color separation. No other color separation application for bitmaps in Photoshop or standalone application offers any of this functionality. We've given you really a full spectrum of tools to work with relating to color separation and working with images and separating customer supplied logos, autos, animals, cars, you name it, you can separate it literally in a matter of minutes. Now, the click steps isn't going to work in every single separation that you try to use it with. There are some instances where you want to go to the full feature generate separations tab and go through all the steps so that we can really pull the colors out. But you're going to find that a lot of the time you'll be able to work with the ease of the click steps function to very quickly color separate images within a limited number of spot colors. So really what you're dealing with here is an entirely new level of color separation functionality for the screen printing industry that is totally unrivaled by any separation product or plugin in the market. And we're doing it all directly in Corel's RAW. So those of us that are used to working with the ease of Corel's RAW can now easily color separate and manage bitmap images. You know, very often you'll have clients that come in They'll have a photo or something like that. And here I've got a GTO that has been dressed up as a four-wheel drive vehicle. Now, looking at this, we can look at this and say, well, maybe we need to run this through the entire separator. But really, we don't. We're going to be able to pull this apart down to two colors. Now, what that means is that you could print this on a four-color press on a dark or a light garment. And if you're working with limited colors on your press and you're working with limited spot colors, the functionality that we have here with the click steps functionality in Simple Steps Raster is going to give even those of you with the small presses and the small shops, as long as you've got decent registration, the ability to print at the highest possible level, working with half tones and spot color separations coming out of Corel Draw. Let's take a look at this image. First thing I want to do is just go ahead and pull this apart. So we'll just go ahead and come up here and we'll select all of this text here. I'm going to go ahead and change this page to a landscape, resize this just a bit. And the first thing I want to do is bring up my Simple Steps Raster. And I'll come here to Advanced Tools, Simple Steps Raster. I'm going to go to my Click Steps tab. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to pull all the color out of this. So I'll come over here, got it selected, I'll click on Pull All Color. And then I'll see what I'm dealing with. And I can see I've got a JPEG image here that has a lot of different colors and damage in it. JPEG is very destructive and you'll see this at times and you can work around it. Working with this graphic, the fact is the black is going to knock most of this out. And if you look at the original image, which is here behind, I'll go ahead and cut this, and we zoom in and take a look, we can see that there is, you can see the, the tints of red in here. So when we're dealing with computers and pulling colors, it's going to pull that color no matter what application you're using, but we'll find that the black is going to cover most of that up anyway. I'll hit Control Z and I'm just going to bring that back. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and pull this red. I'm going to do that very easily by just coming over to my eyedropper tool, coming up in here and clicking into the red. I want to get into some place where it's as dark as I can find it, so I'm going to get a good pull of it. And I would say right in here would be good. And I'll just simply come over and click on Pull Selected Color let that process and pretty much instantaneously I have that color pulled and it's separated and ready to go. The next thing I want to do is take this and we're going to convert this to a monochrome. So I'll go to the generate separation tab and I'll click on monochrome convert and that's going to go out to photo paint and bring me back a perfect monochrome grayscale. So I'm not going to lose any of the densities or tonal values in my grayscale but I'm still going to have a monochrome bitmap that I can apply an outline color to as opposed to a fill that's going to have spot color support and functionality with it. So I can actually take this and run it through Simple Steps 3, convert it to half tones, and get it out to press. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and take this image. I'll hit Control X. I'm going to bring that back in here to page 2. I'll hit Control V. And I just want to get this red from this actual image. So I'm going to come over here and just click 
right in here where I kind of separated from and then I'm going to come over here and find the edge of the other object which is right about here and I went a little bit too far there. I want to hit control Z. I want to be on the outline. You see when you've got that outline square there, that's an outline. When you pass that, that's a fill. And I want to use the outline here. And then there we go. We've got that set up. So there we've pulled the red. The next thing I want to do is just go ahead and pull the black. Go back to page one for that. Go back to the click steps tab and just click on pull black. And I need to have an object selected there. Select my object. Click pull black. Got that set up. Now I'm going to have this black selected. I'm going to go and convert that to a monochrome. I'll select OK. Let that get processed again into a perfect monochrome. Go out to Photo Paint here. And then we'll bring that back in. Now that made that really dark, but that's just a monochrome black, double strength of black there. I'll hit Control X to remove that. I'll go ahead and close my Simple Steps Raster. Won't need that anymore. Come in here and hit Control V and paste that in and there you can see the color separation. And you'll notice that most of that red that actually is in the image is going to be covered up by the black when you print that out. So we can see, we'll go ahead and take a look at this side by side, two color separation done in five minutes. You could print this on a four color press and we could see the exact nature of the level of separation that we got working with the clip set functionality. Now, looking at this, as I said, if you've got a four-color press, you could actually print this on lights or darks with a white base and a white highlight. But we'll go ahead and wrap here with our simple SEPS raster, click SEPS functions, sneak peeks. And as I said, all of you that are currently working with the simple SEPS raster will get this um, functionality and upgrade free. And then shortly thereafter, we'll go ahead and raise the price of simple SEPS raster, probably up to about 350 more or less. And we can see now working with the full tools that are going to be available in the Simple Steps raster, including the full separation generation and the new Click Steps functionality, we now have the most, the most robust color separation application in the market available to us directly in CorelDRAW. We have many options available to us as to how we want to proceed with our color separations when we're dealing with images in CorelDRAW. So go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.